Hey guys, Dcap13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. In the last episode, we made our way over to Shinjuku to hand off the supplies we got from Boss, and while we were there, we ended up getting an alert that Sheisha was in the area, and we needed to repel him. Uh, we ended up working with an Angel and Adramalik to repel him. Uh, we did some decent damage, however, he coiled up, fully healed himself several times, and, uh, left. So, yeah. I guess we succeeded? Well, anyway, here we are now, back in Kinshishijo. Uh, just to rest up from everything, I guess. So let's head on back to our rooms. Ugh. I don't know why, that, that, that fight just left me so fucking drained. Oh, that's not the right way. Uh, what was I gonna say? I have no idea what I was gonna say. Uh, but no, I, I was saying that, that fight just let me so fucking drained. It, it was pretty stressful. Just trying to survive. I need more demons with Medaya. Th that's that's the bottom line there. Oh, what's this? One star commodity. Cool. Alright, so back to the room. Yeah, let's go to sleep. What? You're going to sleep? But I need no sleep myself. Oh, I suppose I'll simply wait. Thanks, Navar. I shall see you tomorrow. Navar floats out of your room. <laughs> You lie in bed and close your eyes, exhaustion fills your body. Come on, get up, Nanashi. Video broadcast. Let's get to the association. All right. <sighs> oh, we just have to walk there. I thought we'd be taken there. Oh well. Guess you can't get everything you want. But walking into a fucking table. That always helps too. <laughs> Alright, Hunter's Association, here we go. A video. Dug up Nanashi, Dad. For the last time, I'm boss at work. Starting to sound like a broken record. Can you get it through her head, Nanashi? Enough already, Dad! Jeez! Hold up, briefing's about to begin. No skins in Fujiwara. Good morning. This is Fujiwara. This is a critical moment for us. Tokyo is torn between Lucifer, Merkaba, and the Divine Powers. Right now, they're all biding their time, waiting for a moment of weakness. Someone's going to blink, and when that happens, the results will be devastating. Our top priority during all of this is to rescue Flynn as quickly as possible. Therefore, we've agreed to hold a conference with the Angels and Demons. What's gonna happen now? Miss Isabeau! She looks like a pro, even in a place like that! So cool! Pretty sure I saw Jonathan and Walter off to the side, too. Yeah! Keep in mind, right now, we speak for all that's left of humanity. The Ashurakai and the Ring of Gaia are currently out of commission and unable to participate. So it's up to the Hunters to take responsibility for whatever is agreed on here. You're wasting our time. Get on with it! Temper, temper, Demon King. I believe introductions are in order, are they not? The boy waits for Fujiwara to speak. I think Izabo is in the best position to introduce you to. 
I am Isabeau. And along with Flynn, I served as a samurai of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado. However, when we arrived in Tokyo, we weren't alone. These men were formerly samurai, just like Flynn. Their names were Walter and Jonathan. One chose to side with demons, and the other angels. They perished to become Lucifer and Merkaba. Wait, those monsters used to fight alongside Flynn? Is everyone from the ceiling a lunatic? Well... That's enough, Isabeau. It matters not who we were. It's true. The humans you once knew are gone. I am the Lord's Chariot, the Archangel Merkaba. I like your new design better. I have no desire to play games. State your terms, demon. This is one hell of a conference. You can say that again. What's the rush, Chariot? His reason looks a lot cooler, too. I am the Demon Lord Lucifer. You have my sincerest gratitude for agreeing to this meeting. My dear humans, and my nemesis, Merkaba. As you wish, I shall get to the point. I request a ceasefire. A ceasefire? Eh? A ceasefire? That can't be true. Is that even possible? Even Lucifer is getting desperate now. So that we may direct our attention to the divine powers, no doubt. Krishna's gathering quite a force of gods and humans under his banner. It is an unfavorable predicament for both of us. Indeed. We cannot simply ignore the divine powers. Very well. I accept your ceasefire. My terms are this. You shall help us defeat the divine powers. I will dispatch my most elite samurai to Tokyo. Hmm. Warriors of light. Each one chosen in the name of our lord. And I will lead the people of Tokyo against the divine powers. Hold on. Why do we have to work for you? It's only natural. It was my hand that led the evolution of humanity. It is at my feet they shall serve. Like hell we will! Our priority is to rescue Flynn. You can fight them yourselves. Your service is not up for negotiation. Only a human can kill gods and demons. What? When gods and demons meet on the battlefield, the most they can do is seal each other away. Without humans, the war shall never end. The unclean heretics of Tokyo can accept or kill any god they desire. God Slayer is the name we bestow upon man who can kill any being, god or demon. God Slayer, eh? It is for this purpose I granted humanity knowledge and wisdom. Live according to your desires. And you shall gain the power to kill a god. Oh, how I adore humans. Something the Lord finds loathsome. Every time this occurred, he has wiped out humanity and recreated it. Humans must serve with unwavering faith. And now you plan on exploiting humanity to eradicate whatever gods are inconvenient to you? This friend Merkaba do not respond. The room is thick with silence. The divine powers intend to use Flynn as their own god slayer. People of Tokyo, I command you to take back Flynn. He mustn't be a tool of the divine powers. If you cannot retrieve him, kill him. Death must come for him eventually. We're not going to hand over Flynn to the likes of you. We'll rescue Flynn no matter what. You can't manipulate us anymore. <laughs> That's the spirit. 
Even if you refuse to join us, you'll still be fulfilling my wishes. Go. Save Flynn. But first, we must deal with Shasha. If something isn't done promptly, that monster will wreak havoc on us all. My samurai shall set out to defeat Shasha upon their arrival. You unclean ones must do whatever you can to aid them. Think of it as atonement for your sins. Damn you for toying with us like this! Lucifer and Merkaba have already disappeared. All that's left on screen is skins shaking with fury. That's the end of our conference. Everyone will receive their tasks soon. Good luck. I didn't quite catch all that, especially toward the end there. How about you, Nanashi? I think I'm up to speed. Am I the only one who's clueless? Seems like it. Whatever. The important thing is that we'll be getting some new quests soon. I'll just catch up later using the hunter notes on my smartphone. <laughs> Kid. Lucifer, Merkaba, and the Divine Powers might be squabbling over Flynn, but I already have my God Slayer. You. Side with the humans against the powers. Do as I say, and take them out. Alright. Let's see here. What we got? Obtain Ame no Habakiri. To, uh, to whom it may concern, we received reports that a weapon of a weapon that may defeat Shasha. A sword called Ame no Habak Habakiri is said to be somewhere in a place known as the Fairy Forest. No promises the accurate... Oh! This is why the Divine Powers were looking in the Fairy Forest. They wanted to find the Ame no Habakiri. Wants to find some super strong sword called the Ameno Habanero or something. Not quite it, but close enough. The other one is... Let's see. Salvage the supplies needed to construct the Shasha radar. Uh, please report to the laboratory on Kasumi Gasaki's fourth level. Collecting materials for the Ashurakai. Huh. Which should we do first? Yo, let's do the sword. That quest, huh? Alright. Says here the sword's supposed to be in the fairy forest. Looks like we'll get to pay Nozomi a visit. I'm really interested in seeing this again. And playing this out more. I should be fine on healing. I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah, I'm all healed up. Alright, so let's head on out. Fairy Forest, here we come. This is the Kinshicho activating. Oh no, we need, we need to go to Yogi, not Shinjuku. Oops. Oh yeah, but anyway, life. This is the Shinjuku. <laughs> there, there's life in Shinjuku again. Complete. All right, that's not good. This is new. Why is there fire? This doesn't look good. Oh God. Shit. The fairy forest looks like it was attacked. The forest's luster is gone, replaced with the scorched remains of devastation. This can't be happening! Why would anyone do this? <sighs> Look! There's Nozomi! Asahi runs to Nozomi. Nozomi! Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm not hurt. Nozomi is pale from shock, dazed. What happened here? Don't know. Went out to snap some photos. When I came back, this is what I found. Did I fail the fairies? Ah, this smacks of the divine powers doing. Must have intercepted the hunter request. No doubt they wanted to keep human hands from getting hold of Amino Habakiri. Amino Habakiri? That's called Excalibur here. Powers must be after the sword. So we gotta find Excalibur. Time to become King Arthur. Nozomi takes a deep, calming breath. No time for rest, Nozomi. You're the fairy queen. I'm coming with you guys. Alright, welcome back to the team, Nozomi.
We got challenge. Bring green under the dome. Oh, LEDs. Hmm. You know what? In another episode, I'm gonna have to start doing challenge quests because those seem like they'll be worth it. You got anything new to zombie? me? Not from last time, but yeah, you're still looking good. Alright, oh, what's new in the database? Inbox? Uh, I didn't get what anyone said during the conference, so I checked out the hunter notes, and uh, I think I understand a little more now? Well, anyway, I learned a lot about fried chicken, anyhow. But that doesn't matter. We need to tackle those two quests so we can help save Flynn and defeat the Divine Powers. Let's do it, Nana Nanashi. Yeah. Well, I'll read the database stuff later. Alright, so where are we heading? Unknown. Cool. That's helpful. Oh, it's Balder! Yo, what up, Balder? I don't think I have space. Oh well. I don't even think I had space for him. No, I didn't. Damn. I need to get rid of some shit. It's time to clean house in my demon stock. Uh, Mudo? Something leveled up. Oh, Halfus. Hey, Rock Kasha. Okay, real quick. Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows. What is this? My height. My. Oh. This thing. Mid oh, you have Medaya. What are you, Sanry and Skog? I, I can't get that demon's name right. Skogsra. Yeah, I'm making you. all their skills, so we're good. So let's change skills. Medaya. Yeah, I guess Medaya, Mepatra, Recarm. Zanma. Uh, Mabufu. And Makakaja, why not? Oh, no. I want to keep Zanma. Search. Uh, basic fusion. Mermaid. There's still nothing good I can make with you. I mean, Night Stalker. You know, let's let's make you. Mabufula, Mamudo, Medaya. No. Mabufula. Uh, let's see. Axel Claw and Rakakaja. That's good with me. Then I... Goodbye, mermaid. The pleasure is mine. Can I do with Ubu? Quicksilver. Can we get another Skogstra? I can make a Suchigumo. Ooh, that'd be nice. I don't know what Halfus' last skill is, though. Apparently with Naga. Basilisk. Skogsra. Your Mikichiro. Your Mechalion. Twolfe. Gukumats. Dierg. I'm gonna make a Parvati too. I don't know, because most of your stuff's just gonna be. Hold on. 
know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Just have more stuff with Medaya. Charmed. Alright, Parvati. What can I do with Parvati? Just wondering. Senri. Thoth. Is that Megiddo I see at the end of your thing? You get Hama on. Shit. Tattooed man. What can I make with you, Phoenix? Ares! Hey! That's a familiar face. Amazon fucking bat. Senri. Twolfe. I think that should be good for now. So let's just summon in some stuff. Mahul. You know what? I want to level up Halfest just so he gets his last move. And instead of Phoenix, let's bring Sedna. Alright, demons updated, let's see what we got. Not the Taishi, Pabble Sag, and Gukumats. Now let's talk with Gukumats. Uh, Yellow's dance. Dance with Dogda. He doesn't look pleased. Let's try that again. Oh, help us. Scout Plus, who you bringing? Pabil Sag? Yeah, Pabil Sag. <laughs> Mahama Stone. Thanks. And 779. I have so much fucking Maka. What am I gonna do with all this shit? I suppose it gets for good for fusion. Life Stone. 766 Maka. All right, allies. And now we kill you. <laughs> uh. Shoot Oh, cool, become my ally then. <laughs> Good, Th that's one less demon I have to negotiate with. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> cool. That was nice. Let's get that poison off Halfus. Let's heal him up too. Okay, let's see these new party members we just got. Let's see, we got Pabilseg, Tathlum Shot, and Toxic Sting. Not to Taishi, Fangbreak, ooh, Fangbreaker. Yeah, Power Punch. And Gukumats, Rakunda, and Heat Wave. Be interesting to see what they can give me. I have no idea where we're supposed to even be going. over here. No, 
dauern. That was close. Orcus. Now's my chance to shock and amaze. Uh, Hama. Yeah. Heat wave. Ah, uh, here's his physicals. All right, ice. Uh, how about my bubula? Leave it to me. How about this? Here's more. What's this? Nice, thanks, guys. And we got three Mudo stones from that. <laughs> Not bad. I see you ball there. Hello? One gun. I won't miss. Head crash. That's a nice dizzy. Yeah. Oh, you're with Augie. Pretty decent items from this. This is bad. We're fine. Hey, magic mirror. Those are always good. Uh, item we got. Nice. Three star fragrances. All right. This got them. Uh, hold on. No, I kind of want to switch out Sedna because she's not really doing much. Let's get someone who actually has some MP. The gate. What a mess. The divine powers must be farther ahead. Hmm. Napaya lands on, leaps on Nozomi. I'm so glad you're safe. It was the Divine Powers! They attacked out of nowhere! We did nothing to them! Where are the others? Other than him? Scattered everywhere! Oh. I'll hang back. McCoy. Protect the fairies left behind. You guys deal with whoever did this. All right, after Excalibur, they'll be heading to Northern Lake Hill. You'll find the sword at the bottom of the lake there. Pardon me, but do you not think us too late? Getting there is easier said than done. To reach the lake, you have to get through the maze garden. Oh, fantastic, a maze. No one gets through that without knowing the exact way out. How are we supposed to get through then? Just past the center gate is a chest. In it, there's a scroll with instructions. Follow those to the letter, and you'll get through the maze no problem. I'll join you as soon as all the fairies are safe. I'm counting on you. Zomi heads back into the forest. Fairies in tow. 
Alright. Uh Sahi. We can't let the divine powers get away with this, Nanashi. Let's go. Yeah, we can't. Uh. Kagura Plaza. Hey, you're longer. Attack. Yeah, that, that did more for us. It's one gone. Uh, how do you like fire your longer? Not at all. Susan leveled up. Hmm? Oh, scroll of guiding. Here we go. These must be the instructions. I'm gonna write this down because I know I'm gonna fucking forget it. I just gotta clear all this shit off my notebook. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's see what this says. So... Thrice toward light. Ones to shadow. Ones to light. It's some kind of puzzle. Oh, that's it. I'll stash it with the rest of our valuables. All right. Fun time figuring out this shit. Fuck. Yeah, how do I fucking guess? And it's the kill. Oh, you Carol hit. Fuck me in the ass. Please, just keep attacking. Holes. Fucked. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, there's no way out of this. Please just kill me here. Yep. And dead. Sweet. Huh. Bring me back. I just realized how I could have ended this battle. I could have just talked. And he would have left. Huh? God damn it. Man, do I feel fucking stupid now? That's what I get though. Thing. All right, Navarro, let's do this. Oh, they're both weak to fire. A lot of things here are weak to fire, I'm assuming. leveled up. Up, it's not down. <laughs> what the hell is it? That's so you. <clears throat> it's 
takes us back here. What the fuck? What the hell is this? Oh, is this it? Once towards light. Is that twice towards the light? No, this is back to the plaza. Shit. <laughs> Fuck! Off. I just took them back to. Th th these directions don't make any fucking sense. Like, what the fuck is the difference between the shadow and the light? I guess this takes us to the maze garden, so. I guess that's light. Taking notes of directions. Is this one? Nope. Alright, so I guess I gotta head to the right then. If I don't get it on this attempt, I'm just gonna fucking read a walkthrough. Cause I don't have time for this shit. Alright, I think... Thrice toward light, once toward shadow. Maybe that's up and down. So, go up three times. Nope, that's not even it. I didn't even bring my team back. Fuck. I'm so fucked up this game right now.
Force 2. For fuck's sake. Sentence cut, hooray! Just what I fucking needed. You're done. Dog down. I can take care of the fucking party. Same time, that's like who do I want to bring in because they're all fucking trash. said no what can I get rid of you for Thoth you know what Thoth I feel like is going to be actually really useful and again and you know what that's it Susan. Yeah, let's get Vito from here. And let's get Hellish Mask. It just sucks that everything on my team is fucking weak to guns. There are a lot of people who use guns. What can I get her help us with? Yamawaro. Suchikumo. You know what? Let's make Suchikumo. Zionga. Rapid Needle. Stun Needle. Heat Wave. Fatal Sword. Cut or poison, uh, poison claw, yeah. Yeah, that works. But no. Then I shall. Alright, so let's see. It's three times to light. So I really don't see any difference.
don't think we are. Hey, Northern Lake Hill. Whew. I'm in a hibachi griller. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Here. Watch your back, kid. Something tells me the divine powers are waiting for us. There's no way they'll let us take that blade without a fight. Yeah. Alright. So, in this case, let's get Navarre. Very well. You can count on me. Oh, son of a bitch. Of course. And Megaton Press. Beautiful. Just beautiful. That thing needs to fucking go. Mapakula. Nope, those guys are just ice. Darkness works against you. Yeah! On a scale from one to ten, how screwed are you if you don't wake up? Oh, you're with the darkness. Yeah. Oh, you're with the guns. Like most of my team. Okay, so here's the strong demon. Get a chopper drop. Yeah, one from Maha Evil too. Alright, here goes nothing. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a Titan. Oh. Look! They've almost found the sword! At last, the pawns arrive! I am Titan! Of the divine powers. I knew you'd come. I'm afraid I can't allow the likes of you to wield Dameno Habakiri. You could have taken the sword without attacking the forest. Why'd you do it? I don't need a reason. It was in my way. You burned down the fairy's home for fun? You're a monster. Like I care what you think. The will of the divine powers is law. Know your place. All right. I cannot permit allegiance with the creator God over the divine powers. The divine powers will not forgive the creator. You will not stop me, humans. Oh, uh, we'll see about that. All right. First things first. Weaknesses. Yeah. Fire. What level are you? Oh, I just check. I just attacked. What the fuck's wrong with me? 33. Okay. Po can we poison claw you? Yeah, poison. How about Hama? Here's more. Kasha, thanks, Navar. Heat wave. Oh, jeez. Fuck. Well, at least we have two healers. Uh, how about... Bufala? Daya. Thoth needs to use it, too. Uh, let's... Uh, Fatal Sword. That did nothing. You might be very useless in this fight, Sichikuma. Alright, 
Uh, how about Zahn? Zio? No. Now let's pass Thoth's turn. Yeah. Hmm. No weaknesses. We just gotta deal with this. Oh, Max. You have posted Moody. Critical. Oh, what the fuck is that? You, you're guaranteeing yourself a critical hit, you fucking asshole. Yeah. All right. Uh, can we stun needle you? No. Well, at least this is a, this is a free turn, so it doesn't matter. An opening. All right, guys. It's my time to shine! Ooh, Sukukasha. Thanks, Navar. Behold my heroism! Not too bad, hmm? And smirks. Yeah. I don't think the insta-kill will work on a boss, but I'll try it. Zama. Come on. And, uh... Yeah, Poison Claw again. Hoggy yeah. Lau. Zama. And let's try Stun Needle. How's this? Oh, Jesus. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Not so easily fooled, huh? Very well. This fight is far from over. What do you take me for? You, you think I'm fucking stupid? <laughs> Alright, uh... Hit with another Augie. Yeah, far from over my ass. <laughs> nice try, Titan. Defeated before I could finish. How can this be? I may fall, but you won't stop the divine powers. They will avenge me. We'll see about that, buddy. You're mine. I'll level up for Parvati. What'd yes. you get? Chakra Walk. Yes. What are you getting? Oni Kagura. We did it! Let's get Omina Kuzit or Excalibur! God damn it, Asahi. Amino Habakiri hangs from a vine. Half its blade submerged in the lake. Will you take Amino Habakiri? Yeah. You untangle the vines and take Amino Habakiri in hand. You obtain Amino Habagir Habakiri. <laughs> A fine sword. More worthy of my scabbard, but you can have it this time. God damn it, Navar. Another quest completed. You, you have a sword already. Well, a dagger, but still. Alright, obtain Amino Habakiri. Dawn and levels. Uh, no, that's 110. 10 at points. Mahama on. Shit. Uh, yeah, I'll take Mahama on. Heavy light attack. What are you getting? Resist. Oh, resist gun. Yes. Mepatra. What do you need Mepatra for? How are things going? Things have gone great. Nozomi, we found Excalibur! 
Asahi gestures toward the sword. Good work. Glad you're all safe. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. Managed to get the fairies someplace safe. Hmm. You've certainly livened up. <laughs> well, being down doesn't get you anywhere. All right. Let me walk you to the forest entrance. All right. Doctor. Actually, let's talk. Probably wants to say something. Change Mazan into Estoma. You know what? I'm gonna do that. You're mine. Because it's about time I actually started using Estoma. I'm curious, can I equip Excalibur? Yeah, I can. Sweet. That's a powerful sword. Yeah. Ah. With Ami no Habakir, you can I destroy more resilient strands of wormwood. Okay, I, I had a feeling. Yeah. Oh, so I still even need to be equipped with Ami no Habakir to do that. Watch, takes back to Kakun Path. Nozomi, wait. I'd like to address the group. Oh, Danu. Danu manif manifests from Nozomi's body. Do you know what the divine powers hope to achieve? They plan on killing the creator god. Something about salvation, right? And do you know what their salvation is? Now that I think about it, no. They wish to take over the universe. Hmm. What? Why? The Creator God shaped this universe, but only after defeating us ancient deities. I suspect the Divine Powers seek revenge by wresting control of the universe and claiming dominion over the humans. And what happens to us? I am, of course, not privy to their plans. But I think we can safely assume that... Humans will die. Dagda appears before the group. They plan to destroy this universe and take its souls to a new one they control. But without souls, your bodies will die. The Divine Powers are projecting their own desires for a fresh start onto humanity. Are you not one of the Divine Powers yourself, Doctor? Please, Mother. I haven't truly joined their ranks. How do you mean? They're just another set of pieces in a much larger game I'm playing. After they create a new universe, I will take it. Then... I will regain my true form. This is worth sacrificing the world for. Of course. The inescapable truth under all life's lies is that this universe is worthless. Gods, demons, humans, Buddhas, Praetors. I will wipe everything from existence. Not the Praetors. That's horrible. Are you insane? If I am, I've been so from the beginning of my existence, and will be to the end. To think that I could give birth to such a horror. Yes, perhaps the Creator God holds humanity back from its full potential. As Krishna said, slaves to their own bodies, and prisoners of this universe. But it's still life. This world is one of beauty. Blessed with bountiful nature and wonderful creatures. It's worth working together to protect. Agree to disagree, my foolish mother. Doctor turns to you. Ignore her, my god slayer. Relying on others is a joke. Let go of all that. 
Break free from the shackles of humanity and become more. Become something that shapes the world. I will help you reach true freedom in a new universe untethered from dependencies. So you play with him like a chess piece, solely to win your little game. Game? This is something he chose. Accepting death or resurrect as my god slayer. Though I suppose it's up for debate whether he truly had a choice. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? Accepting death? Resurrection? Are you saying Nanashi? Yes. I'm afraid he's not quite human. Not anymore. <gasps> no longer human. Not angel, not demon. He is my puppet. A puppet? Nanashi, you... You're dead? Saki turns to you. There's a fearful look in her eyes. A day might come, my son, when I have to put a stop to you myself. A slave to the status quo like you could never hope to best me, mother. Let's just hope that day never comes. You're sharing your body with a real pain in the ass. Tell me about it. Nozomi looks to Asahi. You okay? Huh? The tear streams down Asahi's cheek. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm crying. You're still the same, right, Nanashi? You haven't changed any. All this gods and demons stuff. I never thought it would change us. And now here I am, learning that you've died. That you aren't even human anymore. It just doesn't make any sense. Nana, she's alive. He's right here. Why? Okay. Everything will be okay. He's still himself where it matters most. No matter what he's become. You've known him your whole life, right? If anyone could tell he's changed, it'd be you. So please, don't cry. <laughs> About what Danu said earlier, she and I share more than just my body. I agree with her about the divine powers 100%, and that Dogda's ideas are dangerous. But what does that mean for Nanashi? Are you saying you might have to kill him? Well, I don't know. I suppose that's the worst case scenario. <gasps> but that's why you should take me with you, to make sure that doesn't happen. Zomi holds her hand at you. We need to work together. Keep this universe of ours safe. And while we're at it, we'll make sure Dogda doesn't steer you wrong. Yeah, let's shake it. <laughs> the more the merrier. A fairy queen's got certain obligations and responsibilities. That means getting to the bottom of this. Gotta make sure the forest stays safe. Ain't no one gonna hurt the fairies. Not on my watch. Zomi pumps her shotgun. Well, best be on our way. Zomi joins your party. Yeah, Nozomi's back. For good this time. Holy shit. That, uh... Well... I really don't know how to respond to all this. I mean, we kind of figured Dogda was using us for something in the first place, but... Eh. Oh. The girl again. That girl! Oh, hey, Steven. Steven arrives just... Steven arrives right behind the girl. Hello. So, now you understand how Dogda and Danu intend to reshape the world. Yeah. 
Dagda wishes for absolute freedom of his own creation. Danu wishes to cultivate a freedom with others. They may not agree with each other. Still, their ideals are in opposition to both the angels and the demons. Mm. Both ways are the middle path. But there is more than one path. Walk your own. I'll be watching over you, no matter what. Mm. Steven and the girl head off. Who is that? No clue. Just know his name's Steven. Right. Well, guessing won't get us anywhere. Well, let's just put that mystery on the back burner for now and get out of here. So yeah, there are two neutral paths in this game, I believe. On to the next quest! Yep. Alright. Plugged radar component. So we gotta get to Kasumi Gasuki. First step is to swing by Kasumi Gasuki for more info. Lead the way, Nanashi! Alright. And we're gonna handle that in the next episode. So, in the next one, yeah. What I said before. I'll see you guys then. Bye!